right, all right, all right. How are we doing, guys, today? What's going on, my peeps? I'm is back with another video. Back with a new accessory, one I've been eyeballing for a while, one that it has taken me a while to actually pull the plug on. And that's really because I was kind of waiting to get a, a new laptop, and since that doesn't look like that will be happening anytime soon, unless in sponsorships, somebody wants to invest in a company, of course. <laughs> I found a way I could still utilize this accessory with my Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. My wife could potentially use it for a Galaxy Tab S6 as well because it has an, uh, up to three profiles. And the little laptop we have that we kind of use, you know, when we need to. We have three different places it could potentially be used, but I think we'll buy her her own mouse, of course. And that is the Logitech MX Master 3. Yes. This has taken the world by storm, or at least around a year ago, when it first initially dropped. This uh, beast of a mouse really has a lot of functionality and customization uh, for anybody. Really, you can use the Logitech Utility app on your desktop PC, PC slash I, Apple, you know, iMac device, laptop. You know, you can use that app and use the presets that they have for a specific functionality, specific, uh, specific, <laughs> specific, specific shortcuts and ways to use the different buttons that they have on here. But I'm going to have this set up on my tablet to kind of gain similar functionality, hopefully. And we're gonna find out once we dig into the settings. But before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys ignite the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. So you never miss my videos. Then we can sit back so I can see what's cracking. Now, let's get into the video. And I also got me a nice mouse case. So when I'm traveling, when I'm on the go, maybe when it's not out being used, I have a nice little case here. There was a ton of different ones I saw on Amazon. Links will be in the description that, you know, works perfectly for the case. And as you guys see on the inside, it's got like a little chain, like a little keychain piece that you can attach to, I would imagine right here, so that way you can attach it to something else. Maybe you want it hanging outside your bag. It smells pretty good. It does seem very secure. It's got a little hole right here or a little spot for the little USB-C, uh, you know, key. I, I, I don't know why I can't think. Oh, the little USB-C port, adapter port connection port whatever you want to call it that you plug into the computer you can use it for that i could take this out because i'm not going to be using that and that goes the box for amazon so i'll show you what it looks like putting it in here in a second the reason why i'm relatively excited is because i didn't realize how advanced this mouse was as it says on here advanced wireless mouse the master series by logitech you get mag speed ultra fast scrolling <laughs> We're going to get into that in a second. The battery life on here is also ridiculous. I believe it's like, yeah, quick charge in one minute for three hours or full charge lasts about 70 days. So you're looking at, uh, you know, just over two months worth worth of use. And that's if you're using it hours upon hours at a time. I'm sure you'll probably turn it off or click it off from time to time. And even if you didn't, you kind of maybe left it running to some degree. You may not get 60, 70 days. You're probably, you're, you can still get 30 days where you have to put this on the charge. And I'm sure it doesn't last that long to actually charge. Of course, it requires Bluetooth, which is what I'll be using for this. So I won't use the actual USB-C port to plug into the tablet because I could just, you know, attack, <laughs> connected via Bluetooth, words all over the place. So I'm pretty excited for this, you know. One of the things that also is a difference is the difference between this and the MX2 slash 2S is the size. It's more ergonomic to your hand. It's more slim. It fits into the curve of your hand when you're holding it. So that's also nice. It speeds up your workflow because of app specific profiles, shortcuts you can use, the side scrolling, the back and forward button, on the side of the mouse, you have another button that, that your thumb rests on. I'm gonna show you guys in a second, all right? You can flow cross computer control, meaning you can copy and paste between your laptop and your desktop, or, or between two different you know monitors, and between your desktop and your laptop, the mouse can scroll between the two. That's also nice. And precise tracking on any surface. Uh, 4,000 DPI, meaning, 
very different surfaces this mouse will still work on. So let's finally get into the box. I know you guys be like, come on, versatile. Let's get into the box. And that's what we're about to do right now. So upon opening it here, um, let's open that up. Slide this baby right on out. It's a nice box, by the way. I really like the packaging. And then you're greeted with this black, sleek MX Logitech right there. Got a pull tab right here. Once you pull it, then you just open it just like that. And voila. So now here's the, wow. Now I haven't touched the mouse in over, ooh, ooh. Mm. Now I got this dark, I guess you could say darker gray color. Looks very nice. I have not used a mouse in over a year. And that's because, you know, I used to work at a desk job, so that's why I use a mouse. Ever since I've had tablets, and then even with our laptop, we always just use the, the trackpad and the keys, never use the mouse. Uh, and now I have a mouse to use, and it does feel slim already. Now, before I take, a lot, well, I guess I could show you right here. You know, you have the on button switch, you have the USB uh, little dongle port, Bluetooth, uh, the MX setup that logi.com on the website to pretty much, you know, get the access to the apps unless and they will download once you plug it in. And then easy switch. You can switch between three different profiles. Uh, anyway, that, that could be tablets, that could be different computers, your phone, you know what I'm saying? And there it is on the bottom here. So you have your on switch. And then you have your three profiles right here. And then I believe to cut it on, you just press and hold. And just like that, everything is working. Now in the box, of course, you have your USB-C dongle port that you would plug into your desktop or laptop. So that way you could actually uh, customize the mouse. And then after you customize it, you really don't need it anymore. Like you can connect it via, well, I believe with laptops and stuff like that, your best bet probably would just be to leave this connected to your laptop or uh, get a dongle, you know, hub and plug this in. Or if you do go Bluetooth, it shouldn't be that hard because once you cut it on, it should connect to the laptop with no issues. So there's this right here. And then right here is your paperwork and your USB-A to USB-C cable. So now that we're done with this, we can put all this back. I'm probably gonna keep this box because it's really nice. But before I go ahead and do anything, I'm gonna show you guys how it fits into the case. It's as simple as just putting it in and closing it, zipping it up. It's got a nice relatively hard shell. As you guys, well, outside of the zipper, it doesn't move. So it's a very secure case. It's not gonna be jumbling around on the inside. So nice case, link will be down in the description below. So as you guys know, it has like this infinity scroll or free spin as they call it. And then they have a ratchet mode. And that's just as simple as clicking this button. And then, now I believe it's probably gonna work once it's actually on. Let's check out the mapping of here. As I said, there's this little button right here that your, your thumb will pretty much rest on or you can at least push you know push over on you got your forward and backwards button or vice versa one of the two you got your your scroll your side scroll which feels really good it doesn't need to have infinity although that would have been cool too but it's nice to have a nice little side scroll right there Ooh, ooh, ooh. oh yeah and how the, with the thumb being right there it's not bad so one of the things that I figured out is that at first I thought you actually had to connect the mouse to like a laptop or a desktop to actually set up the mouse and whatnot. <clears throat> and then it would work on a tablet. Now you could probably still do that and it wouldn't be a big deal. But turns out that with the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus in particular, so far what I realized is you cannot have the keyboard attached when actually trying to connect the mouse. Once you disconnect the keyboard from the tablet, it will then act as Though uh, then the mouse will connect with no problems. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is play around with the settings real quick to see if I can override that. And then we'll look at adding the additional features to the mouse via the settings. So give me another second. So I found out what it is with the MX Master 3 mouse and Android tablets in general, but specifically with the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 series, and it sounds like it might be an issue with One UI 3.0 and later, 
a 3.0 and later is that the mouse connects as a physical keyboard when you Bluetooth it. So what happens is, is you can't use your actual physical keyboard. So I don't know why Android or Logitech for that matter has it programmed to connect as a physical keyboard. Maybe it's because you can program the keys or different aspects of the mouse, which is what I'm going to show you guys here in a second. But I hope that that can be addressed in a future update, whether it's something small and simple from Logitech or from Samsung, but it basically makes you choose the mouse or the keyboard. All right, recording from the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus's front facing camera, I found a potential workaround solution for the MX Master 3 mouse to work alongside the book cover keyboard case for the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. The feature that you actually have to turn off is the shared keyboard feature. If you turn that feature off, the mouse instantly starts working. It connects like nothing happened and we weren't sitting here dilly deadling for like an hour trying to figure out what it was. So as long as you turn that feature off, the, it, the mouse will still show up as a physical keyboard, but it will work alongside the book cover keyboard case uh, so that way you won't have any issues and then you can actually go through having a workflow with the mouse no issues now one of the things i have not tested is disconnecting the keyboard and then reconnecting it to see if you have to connect one in either order but i would imagine since that feature turned off and the mouse started working as is there shouldn't be an issue and most likely you're probably going to have your keyboard case connected but just keep that in mind. But that is the workaround for the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse and the physical keyboard docked to the Galaxy Tab 7 Plus. That is it for this video. Again, let me know down in your comments, thoughts in the comment section below. Maybe you guys have found a way to work around that. I would love to know. But if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys like the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. So you never miss my videos. Then we can sit back chill out to see what's cracking. But your man Bruce will sign out until the next video. Wait, boys.